part two of just add alcohol here are some of the prints that I'm going to be using so these are the ones I did on camera plus a couple of extras that I did as a practice run and I'm going to uh, finish those off today I'm going to make a greetings card because something like that fits really well on a square greetings card and I might also do, at the same time, perhaps work on two similar prints together, do one for my journal, and I might turn one of these sunshine ones into a postcard, a bit of mail art. I'm going to add a little bit of stamping in these gaps, in colour, so red on red. And I've just picked out some kind of text stamps. And then also in a little bit of black. Now I don't want to add too much detail on the top because there's quite a lot of detail in the print and these alcohol inks do pick up a very detailed image. I'm just going to highlight a little bit with a white pen. Now it needs some touches of um, paint on top layers so I'm using some black and some gold and doing some junk stamping. I'm also going to use a palette knife to bring a little bit of black in around the edge. these backgrounds off I'm going to mount them on a bit of black card and give myself just a really small narrow border and in the center I'm going to add some of these Tim Holtz transparent wings I'm going to stitch but of course stitching is always optional you can just glue I like the look of stitching you can see there now I've added my uh, transparent wings with a little bit of stitching stitching around the edge and that is now sitting in my little journal. And just now to finish this card, I've got some tape and glue on the back of my panel. I've already done the stitching. And now we have a completed greetings card. So a journal page and a greetings card with two of my panels. And I'm just going to finish one more to turn this into um, a postcard, piece of mail art. 